Performing flair bartending moves whilst shaking a cocktail can be risky and dangerous. So just go for it. No, I'm joking. Make sure you practice with empty shakers first and then use ice and water until you get the feel of the move. For the purpose of these tutorials, I'm gonna use empty shakers. But funnily enough, a lot of these moves are much easier with shakers that have the ice and the liquid inside. First one, the roll up the arm. You're gonna place the shakers on the palms of your hands like so, and you're gonna to learn to just lift your arms up and roll it backwards and forwards to begin with. And you wanna control that by moving your arms up and down. For the next step, when you get to this position, you're gonna turn your hands over roll it down and then when you get to there you're going to use your hands and your fingers to control the throw up and land it on your reverse forearm up turn your hands over down onto the reverse back and then you can learn woo, to try and get it back to that position again We're spinning the shaker on these two knuckles, this one and this one. So you wanna start by placing them where, they, where it's gonna spin, about there. Then you wanna hold onto the shakers in the most comfortable way that you can. From there, you need to learn to spin and keep your knuckles in that position. It may move a little bit sometimes, but the more you practice it, the easier it'll become. Sometimes it will move, but it'll work out just fine. The gun sling or the finger roll, whatever you want to call it. Hold the shaker, small part of the top, near the base and push with your thumb. Let the shaker roll around your thumb and your hand come underneath to grab the shaker. Like this. Okay, that's the second part of the move. The first part, you're going to hold the shaker like this, just as if you're shaking it with one hand. You're going to swing the shakers up and it's going to come up around your finger and catch in this position. Once you've caught it, you're going to push with your thumb. So up around your finger, push with your thumb. Around your finger, push with your thumb. Around the finger, push with your thumb. Around the finger, push with your thumb. Round, push, round, push, round, 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 push. Once you're straining off the last parts of the cocktail, as you cut off, you're coming under your arm with the small shaker and you're just doing a single spin. You're just doing this, okay? But around your arm. So you cut, bring the small shaker underneath, move my arm out of the way, catch the small shaker and you can pour the remnants of whatever's left in that small shaker into the glass. going to grab the shaker whichever side doesn't matter your other hand is going to come opposite like so you're going to push and as you come around you do the same thing again my hand just twists twist each time as I'm doing it slowly I'm grabbing the shaker using my thumb but now I've moved my thumb to the same side as my fingers and as I get quicker it's a case of pushing it and just trying to keep that momentum going and that is the move and I call it the Korean handover because we went to Seoul in South Korea many years ago and the bartenders over there can do this move amazingly well. Once you've shaken your cocktail, you're gonna crack the shaker open like you normally would but then you're gonna hold it in place with your other hand, with your thumb 
and your finger. Now from there, you wanna hit this shaker. Don't hit it here, cause it'll just fly downwards. You wanna hit it in the middle and you can even angle this shaker like so a little bit. So it's gonna go up. You hit it, grab it underneath, and then you can just place that large shaker in there. Or I like to do a little exchange and carry on to straining my cocktail. If this is your first time seeing something like this, welcome to the channel. We are just touching the surface of the different working flair and craft flair moves that you can use behind the bar whilst making cocktails. If you like this, why not hit subscribe and click the bell to be notified of my next videos that are gonna go online and where you can learn more super cool, awesome moves like this so you can use it behind the bar to build your confidence, to make super awesome tips, and to basically just have a bit of fun whilst making some cocktails. But once you've nailed this, then you should go and check out this video because they link together really, really well. This is about putting ice in your shakers before you make the cocktail. That has become a huge trend recently. It's called Craft Flare, and I'm showing you nine different ways that you can ice up your shakers. I'll be doing more of this, but if you liked any of this stuff on the, today's video, or if you want to see anything specific, leave me a comment in the comments box below. And until next time,